Today we're on the Wolf River in London at the Sturgeon Trail and uh, our DNR crews are observing sturgeon spawning but we're also using large dip nets to pull some of the fish out of the water. Uh, all the fish that were coming out, we're measuring them, we're determining whether they're males or females, and then we're also checking to see if we put a pit tag, which is a little chip, uh, underneath the skin of the fish in past years, and if it's not a tagged fish, we'll enter a new tag into that fish. On the Winnebago system, which the Wolf River is one of the tributaries and one of the major spawning areas for lake sturgeon, uh, our system on, on the Winnebago system is, has the most lake sturgeon in the world. So we have the largest naturally reproducing population that's out there. Uh, the data that we collect here is really important because uh, we're marking fish that then during the spear fishery in February, uh, we then look at all those fish to see if they've been tagged or not. And those data combined are used to estimate how many fish are out there in the population. And then of course those population estimates from there are used to set the harvest caps for the next year's spear fishery so that we can offer spearing opportunity in the winter but at a sustainable level so we're not over harvesting more fish than what the population can sustain. So sturgeon don't actually have teeth. As they swim along the bottom, they use their barbells, they're called here, their whiskers, to sense food. And then they drop their mouth down and they suck food off the bottom, similar like a vacuum cleaner. These fish have been around for 150 million years. So they've been, literally were swimming around in the rivers when dinosaurs were roaming the earth. And I always say, uh, one of the great things about sturgeon is whatever killed the dinosaurs didn't kill the Good sturgeon. Air. That we really don't know how long lake sturgeon can live or other sturgeon species for that matter or how big they can really get. Um, a couple years ago we handled a fish in 2012 below the Shawano Dam that was 87 and a half inches long. That fish we estimate to be about two, was about 240 pounds and that fish was probably one of these 100 to 125 year old fish. <laughs> sturgeon as you can see from the crowd that's around here are very culturally important to the people around the Fox City area and the Winnebago system and people actually come from other states to see them spawn because this is one of the only areas probably the best area in the world to see sturgeon spawn up close and personal. I mean you can literally get down there and touch them with your bare hands on the rocks if you wanted to um, but it's a truly unique opportunity for people to come out. What's really cool is on the weekends like this you get to see the children come out and they like to come up and touch the fish and you know every one of them is like ew they're slimy but it's it's really it's really a great opportunity to educate people about the sturgeon, about the biology and about the population and the management program we have here.